Carolina Vieira. How are you feeling today? Man, I'm feeling great. I couldn't be more happy, you know. I trained so hard for this moment. I was feeling very confident, you know. Even though we have a small competition training, I don't know how Luana does this, how she's able to, like, keep me, you know, like, so sharp and good to compete in high level. But I was feeling very, very confident all the time. I was feeling that that was my ear. And I'm so happy. Five times, this is, this is amazing. You had a little bit of a, like, let's call it a hiccup maybe yesterday morning. Uh, but yeah, they absolutely came back very, very strong. Did that motivate you at all to, to, to give it an extra strong performance in the, in the weight class? Yeah, so, yeah, the absolute was kind of an upset for me. I was very upset. I wasn't angry, you know, or nothing like this. I was like, fuck, it was so close. But next year, and it was good for me because every time I compete with one of my opponents, next time I fight with them, I feel like better because I'm able to see the, the decisions I made and do something different. And I was able to overcome and I was able to finish very quick in an arm bar. So yeah, it was really good. You're very quickly becoming one of the most dominant women in history. Um, <laughs> How, how does that make you feel to know that your name is over and over and over again in the record book? It's, I don't know, it's, it's crazy. I can never think, you know, the first time I came to California, it was 2012. I came as a blue belt for the first time in this pyramid. And I could never imagine that I would be the woman and I would become the athlete that I am today, you know. So I feel very proud of myself. I'm proud to represent my team of Yves Jiu-Jitsu. You know, and yeah, next year I'm here again for the double gold. We had, uh, we just had a, uh, a Hall of Fame seminar here um, a, a couple hours ago, right? A Hall of Fame ceremony. Do you feel like that's the direction you're headed or the direction you want to be headed? I don't know. I mean, it's up to IBJJF to decide. I don't know if they think I deserve it. Great, but I don't. I don't come here and I. I compete thinking about being a Hall of Fame, you know. I do this because I'm a competitor and I love to win. I love this feeling. I love to challenge myself. So, yeah. You had a pretty tough, tough match in the finals. Looks like you fought out some tough, tight footlocks. Can you talk about the footlocks? Were they tight? And how did you feel after you passed the Yeah, fight? so I felt like pressure, but I didn't feel like it would hurt me. That's why I was, you know, like confident. I tried to control. I knew she could try to come on top and she would be winning, you know, by advantage. So I was like, okay, so I need to defend and come on top. And whenever I feel like I have some space, I'm going to start to pass. And all the time I, I remained calm and I knew what I wanted and I knew where I wanted to finish, you know. So, yeah, the submission came, the Katagatami, one of my favorites. And, yeah, that's it. <laughs> awesome. Well, congrats again, five-time world champion. Really Thank you. Can I... Time. Can I say thank yeah, you? Yeah. I'd like to thank my sponsors, Hyperfly and Gamblers, for all the support, for the trust. We made it, guys. Thank you, all my students from Aviv Jiu Jitsu. I'm so happy to represent all of you. And a big, big thanks to my wife and coach, Luana Zugi. Lou, you're the best. We did it. Thank you. Congrats again. Thank you. Yeah.